Hello friends, welcome. Let's uh, relax and chat about fragrance a few minutes. Can't wait. Ever since I did the first impression for Lali Wine Black, I got the, the vibe of, of this one. Parfum de Mali Leighton. And I thought, I keep having in my mind, wait, La Ligue is a very reputable house that produces great fragrances. And I understand when companies take inspirations, tweak it, make it better, or make their own variation. That I understand every company does that. But if they're actually cloning latent, I think that's going too far for a house like La Ligue. It's a great house that make a lot of inexpensive fragrances that is actually way beyond its value. So finally, last night I found my latent and I got to do a quick comparison and I'll share with you what I find out. Okay. This is not going to be, not going to be super in depth, but, oh, that's a lot of juice for spray, a very powerful sprayer. And here's Lily White and also a very powerful spray. Huh. Okay, so that's one similarity. They have awesome atomizer and it sprays out a lot of juice. The amount of juice is probably two or three times more than the other typical fragrances. Right away, okay. Right away, there's a big difference in the amount of power and projection. If I will give a gray for Lily White in the powerful projection uh, amount of depth, I'll give this one. If I give this one a six, then in comparison, I'll give this one a nine or a ten. Nine or ten for Layton. It's just coming out very strong. It's punching me in the nose. While Lily White is more uh, mellow, is softer, is. Okay, more relaxing. <laughs> While well, this one, it's here I am. Come on. I told, I'm telling you I'm a powerhouse. Boom. I'm going to give you your money's worth. Well, by the way, as far as cost wise, you could pick this up for 40 plus. While well, this one is 200 plus. So you could get five of this versus one. We talk about the value at the end. But let's get into the, the similarity and the differences. So, yeah, first thing is the, the lightness. This is one lighter. This one is darker. Maybe I, I could say this is for winter while this is for the springtime. The similarity that I first, in my first impression, it's not there anymore. It usually happens when you compare side by side. So, hey, for those of you that always want to compare you and other people, like the other people's are your husband and wife are better than your husband and wife. The other people's kids are better than your kids. Other people's cars are better than yours. Whenever you get into one of those silly games of comparing yourself and your your people to others, you're honestly you're misguided. And our life is our life. I'm, I'm not going to waste my time comparing to other people. Plus, it's skewed it. It's skewed, it, meaning I really thought this was a clone of this. But the truth right now that I'm figuring out is, yeah, there is a similarity. There is a vibe to it. But it's right now, I don't think there's not, I don't think there's anything alike. Maybe there's some similar vibe. But because this one is coming up so strong, so dense, so uh, densely packed. It feels like this one is just airy flowing through you and passing by and saying goodbye while this one is sticking around, planting a flags and this is my this is my town. I'm the dude. Yes, that's how it's coming across. So maybe it's due to the amount of um uh let's see what this is. Parfum de Mali Eau de Parfum. Okay, and this is also Eau de Parfum. Both are 4.2 ounces. That's 125 ml. 
both are the same EDP okay but you can tell they're, they're different why is the league white blacks so light comparing to how I smelled it the first time that's why first impression is only first impression you don't judge a, a fragrance or or any or a person in, in from the first impression you gotta get to know one and um all right now going the second thing let's talk about the note yeah i do smell some similarity so you could say hey they might be in the same uh same genre but i will not say they're from the same house or same family okay there's some similar notes i'm picking up lavender that i'm picking up i think they both have vanilla and cardamom those are pretty easy to pick up and some earthy notes that that's probably the patchouli yeah both have those and but there there's a difference in in the freshness so i'm trying to pick out what is in here that is the difference in 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 as far as maybe fruits or or the freshness seriously they're 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 very different in that if you example if you say both are water both are water they have similarity in that both are water but this one is like a little pond while this is the ocean okay they are water they're both water liquid but they're different all right yeah i say ocean because it's darker deeper um it feels fuller while this one just mellow like a pond just sitting there while this one is creating big wave yeah that's that that's actually a good comparison in I might smell some Ambroxan, just a tad. Lavender is still there. Cardamom is coming off strong. There's lavender here, but I'm smelling apple, apple, apple. That's the most prominent note that's coming through for Leighton. I, I also recall it is a long while back when I bought this about the apple notes. I read something about it and the cardamom is pretty prominent. Um, then some lavender as well. I'm sure there's cinnamon, some pepper. Oh, also the pepper, peppery notes. So I say it's a quick comparison. Um, I just explained the price wise, the, the bottle, the smell. Um, how similar would this be? Honestly, I'll give it maybe 50% similar. There are the few notes that they share. There's the lavender, cardamom, and vanilla. But then uh, everything else is different. It's about five or six or seven minutes now. And they're still going into different direction. This one is staying powerful. Strong, beast, dense. This one is still light, airy. You know, if I compare this to any other designer brand by the way this is um niche and the leak is also a fragrance house that does do you know what i got i'm sorry it just escaped escaped me now if this is a niche of designer designer meaning that they do a lot of other stuff like clothing jewelry and uh, a lot of other type of business while Parfum de Mali just focus mainly just on fragrance. That's their main, main business. And what, what I was going to say is, I forgot what was my train of thought, but yeah, there, the smell is different. I only give it 50% similarity. I'm glad I did this, or else I'll be going around um, recommending people as a latent clone. Uh, I'm glad I did. I mean, yeah, this you could see some, some of the same vibe, but they 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 are not the same. Even almost ten minutes, and this one is still going very strong, compact. 
I would say this if it's a round a bowling ball that's compact and heavy, a、uh, uh, eight pound bowling ball, or how many pounds a bowling ball these these days? This will be like a hollow. <laughs> I don't want to put this down. It's a great scent. If you compare it to any other fragrance, yes, this this is great, especially for the price. You're getting a lot for your money. La Ligue is a great house, and I like this one as well. But if you do it side by side, you know it's it's gonna be、um, kind of frowned upon <laughs> or looked down. So I'm sorry,、uh, La Ligue. I, I still I still really 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 enjoy your fragrances, and this one is great too. So if you ask me, hey, which one is, is it worth it to five bottle versus one? I would say, hey, if you got a cash, for sure get this one and put it in your collection. It's definitely worth it. But other than that, if you're not an enthusiast, or if you don't love it as much, you just want something that smells really great, especially that's not gonna break your bank, and you want to use your money to buy something else. That's fine. That's fine. Pick this up. You could get a lot of different fragrances for that price. You could get five bottles of different things and and. Add to your collection. So, with that said, very good fragrance. If I have to give a rating by itself, I'll give this one an eight point five or even nine, considering the value, of the price. This one I'll give it a nine and a half or ten, not considering the price. But if I consider the price, maybe eight and a half or nine, because it's pricey. So, it is subjective, right? One person's price. C is someone else's uh, 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 nickel in the bucket. So there you go. I like both of them. They're both good, but they're not clones of each other. All right, guys. As usual, as always, thanks for watching, and see you next time, or see me next time.